Right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Fading Hearts. Laura was starting to sing James Blunt songs, so we thought, you know, it's time to start recording. <laughs> Say hello, Laura. Laura's totally bullied in this trio. I've, I've came to realise that um, I'm bullied. But hello, guys. Right, moving on quickly from the delusional Laura. Say hello, <laughs> April. Hi. Laura, we love you. We do. Hmm. We love you. we love you we adore you we think you're wonderful. That's why yeah. we love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> adorable, <laughs> adorable. <laughs> oh my god! I aged up the first toddlers and baby challenge and I nearly cried because they were so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually said Simon and April are going to laugh at me for this. Uh, this is the, that was the explosion I heard from the north, was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, the last Sorry. episode we left you with a weighty question which was answered with Alright, Rena, I'll give you my third sandwich. <laughs> it's code for something, I'm not sure what. <laughs> I take out a straw a, a straw Strawberry a, a, sandwich? Moving quickly onwards. <laughs> I take out I take out a ham and cheese sandwich and place it in <laughs> Rena's eager hands. I was really looking forward to eating it too. It was like one of those sandwiches you told me about with the <sighs> cheese and the strawberry preserves. Oh, that's those are wonderful. Yes. Yeah, they're good. Mm. Thank mm. you so much, Ryu. No, no, no. You got to say that with as though you got a mouthful of sandwich. Thank you so much, Ryu. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> Rena happily munches on my precious sandwich. Ah. A sunny smile plastered. Yep, yeah, it's definitely code for something. Yeah. A sunny <laughs> smile plastered across her face. That is erotic. <laughs> <laughs> but suddenly, it vanishes. The sandwich? Yeah, well that vanished a while ago. <laughs> I'm really sorry I keep taking lunches like this. I promise I'll pay you back someday. Fine, take your clothes off and assume the position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Simon. <laughs> For lunch? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's old line, isn't it? You know, let's go Dutch. I'll pay for the food and drink, and the rest of the night is on you. Oh, wow. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble for that one later on. Oh. Rena tends not to feel guilty for things that aren't her fault, even if they're obviously not within her control. I'm watching Bible Black. <laughs> Although I suppose apologising for devouring my lunch so often is actually pretty normal. Why does she suddenly feel so bad about it, though? I've been sharing my lunches with her for a while now. If I minded, I would have said something. Maybe I should start making lunch for you, too. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I couldn't let you do that. I mean, shouldn't I be doing that for you? A girl is supposed to be the one who makes lunch for a guy, right? Oh, right? This is so Japanese. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, well, looks like I stepped on quite a minefield here. Rena, calm down, okay? Bitch, slap. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, uh, right. She's blushing a little. I wonder what she was thinking. I should possibly she's thinking, should I take my clothes off and assume the position? But, <laughs> moving quickly along. Oh. But I really wouldn't mind, you know, making lunch for you. Yep, that's what she was thinking. I'd be really happy to. But I mean... A mean ellipsis. Only if you want me to. She's always forgetting her lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can forget my lunch too. <laughs> Rena trails off and stares at the floor awkwardly. She's not very good at hiding her feelings. <laughs> very good at hiding her lunch. It's like a basset hound right now. <laughs> <laughs> If we were one of the main characters in one of those dating sims my friend Alex keeps forcing on me, I'd be oblivious to the fact that she has a crush on me. But I'm not. And it makes things tough. I'm so glad he said tough. <laughs> She's a wonderful girl, but I only see her as a good friend. I don't want to hurt her feelings or our friendship, so I honestly don't know what to do. The worst part is, she knows I like Claire, so she tries hard not to say anything. Even if I picked up on her feelings anyway, it doesn't change the fact that she's bottling them up. Do you think she's standing here just waiting while he completes these internal monologues? <laughs> You're assuming, of course, that they're actually internal. <laughs> he's just saying them out loud. 
Yeah, he's going to stop talking in a minute and then I can say something. Yeah. <laughs> Um, never mind that. I, I don't know what came over me. I was there in my office, she, with my feet up on the desk, she, and then she came in. <laughs> she came through the door, and then she opened it. <laughs> she had legs up to there, <laughs> which was a bit embarrassing because she was holding them off the ground. <laughs> she. <laughs> <laughs> Watching her struggle like that, it's so painful. Rena, it's fine. If I just start making lunch for you as well, I really don't mind. I've been doing it for three months anyway. <laughs> right now I'd say anything to make her feel better. Really? You'd do that for me? Sucker! <laughs> She's like, okay, loser. <laughs> <laughs> her eyes are filled with sudden hope, which is very hard to tell because her eyelids are closed. <laughs> oh no, did I just promise too much? Was that considered accidentally leading her on? Of course. If I'm already making one lunch, it's not really that harder, much harder to make double. Oh, thank you, Ryu. I'm sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I can't help but notice you've been more forgetful lately, though. Are you getting enough sleep? It's nothing like that. You know me. Forgetful as a goldfish. That, that's that's just wrong. I mean, if you if somebody was really forgetful, it'd be, you know, I've got a mind like a, um, <laughs> oh, you know, they're, they're made out of metal that they got holes in. So, goldfish. <laughs> that's it, goldfish. <laughs> but I've been meaning to ask you. I've been meaning to asking you be something. Oh, that's fair. I've been meaning to ask uh, you something. That's Simon Steeler of Lanes. <laughs> You've been waiting for that one, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's getting edited out. Moving swiftly along. <laughs> no, don't edit it out. It's going to be raw. <laughs> so raw. Uh, so raw. So raw. But I've been meaning to ask you something. It seems like you always pack a pretty large lunch. Are you really that hungry? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I am. And you steal half of it. <laughs> to her, I guess it does look like I eat a lot, but I'm a guy after all. We need more calories than girls do. <laughs> Ryu, can I ask you something else? It's about this morning. Uh-oh. I didn't mean for her to hear any of that. I just wanted Claire to give me some peace. Now she's probably gotten the wrong idea. Uh, about what you said earlier, did you really mean all that? I smile in what I hope is a sincere but entirely friendly way. Three people pass out, one person wets themselves, and the rest run away. <laughs> Rena, oh of course I meant it. I wouldn't exaggerate about something so serious. You're a really strong person. I know what you like when you're focused. I'd hate to be the one standing in your way. Thanks, Ryan. That means a lot to me. You see, I... I figured you probably thought me as clumsy and hopeless, so... I thought I was considered, well, really boring? I do my best to conceal a smile. I have to admit, Rena is awfully cute when she's shy and embarrassed. Why do you not think you're an interesting person? Well, I just don't think I stand out at all. Rena, you're a model student. You've got fantastic grades, a sweet personality, and you're really cru cute. He's really, <laughs> he's not, cute really. he's really not helping this, trying not to lead their own thing, is he? Uh, you, might not, you might not have breasts to match Claire, but <laughs> nobody's perfect. <laughs> Popularity isn't the same thing. You and Claire are my only real friends. I'm really lucky to have Claire and you. Yes, I'd be really lucky to have Claire as well. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we share a bond because we're both millennial, millennial orphans. Millennial orphans. Mm. Oh, the music's just got sad. <laughs> No. Six years ago, when the Y2K bug struck the country of Soriyama. For the rest of the world, the hysteria was exaggerated, but here, it wasn't exaggerated enough. We weren't prepared, and all the technology intrinsic to daily life failed at once. It was a complete disaster. Buses, planes, my toothbrush, <laughs> traffic lights, 
Even the economy. Everything fell apart, simply because our computers and devices could only use two digits to rep represent the year. The idea was absolutely ludicrous to everyone with even a passing computer knowledge, and to this day, tech experts the world over still can't explain how Y2K caused it, but the results were tragic and crystal clear to everyone, and a plot device. Thousands of people f died during the chaos, most of them working adults. The foster care system wasn't ready for the sudden influx of several thousand children, dubbed by the media as the Millennial Orphans. Rita and I were just two of those unfortunate souls. In the rush to place us in foster care, the government essentially bribed people to take us in and glossed over most of the normal regulations. As a result, the households we found ourselves in were often miserable. I heard from the news that a lot of orphans ran away, or tried to, but I had a different plan of escape. Mm. Hmm. It was sad. I know. Mm. <clears throat> You know, if it weren't for you and Clea, I don't know how I would have made it this far. I can't believe how lucky I am. It helps to have friends who understand what you're going through. You and Claire are really important to me too. I know I can always come to you guys when I need anything. Can you spare me a fiver? <laughs> if I hadn't met Claire and Rayner when I did, I don't know what to think about how I would have ended up. We're both incredibly lucky to have wonderful friends we have, aren't we? If we put our minds to it, we can do anything! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's the great thing about Rena. She always sees the best in everything and everyone. Yep. If you keep on believing in something, it's bound to happen. I believe in fairies! I do! I do! I do! <laughs> Maybe it's cheesy to say things like that, but the line between corniness and genuine sentiment is usually a matter of perspective. Ah, that's right. I have to go and take care of a few things. I've got to mooch a few other lunches. <laughs> <laughs> Rena quickly crams the rest of my sandwich into her mouth. It makes her cheeks puff out adorably, like a squirrel's. Again for lunch. <laughs> it's all this teleporting in and out. It must be generating one hell of an appetite. <laughs> Take care, Rena. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Rena grabs her things and dashes out of the classroom. I open up my next <laughs> box of sandwiches. <laughs> Dig in. <laughs> what can I say? I'm still a growing guy. Hey, did you hear that? Some guys are saying they saw these spooky shadows again. <laughs> As I chow down on the rest of my lunch, I overhear some of the other students gossiping. You mean all those giant spiders and rats people are supposedly seeing? <laughs> yeah, those guys said they saw some more of them in the forest yesterday. <laughs> Lately, a bunch of occultists have been running around telling everyone who would listen there are really shadow monsters in the forest. No one is really talking about it seriously, of course, but I guess it's still exciting to talk about. Still, more and more people are gossiping about it these days. I'm surprised it hasn't been replaced by a celebrity scandal or something yet. It's because the spiders ate the celebrities. <laughs> Do you really think Mystica is really a magical girl? Well, I know what she did to me with that. <laughs> That too, new teen model on the ma on all the magazine covers these days. Yeah, I was talking to this guy downtown the other day. He said his brother's best friend's girlfriend's dog saw her casting spells to fight off those monsters. <laughs> A magical girl fighting shadows of spiders and rats. That's quite a delusion, Ellipsis. It's a funny name, that, isn't it? Ellipsis. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. No kidding. And all those people seriously believe it. If they saw something, it's got to be a publicity stunt or something. <laughs> or maybe they're getting paid off to pretend it's real. I'd pay off to pretend it's real. <laughs> I've got called ellipsis. Nobody believes me. I bet you're right. Ever since the rumour started, her popularity skyrocketed. I bet she's really raking it in now, man. <laughs> but it'd be a pretty sweet gig. Teen superhero. 
Well, the otaku are eating it up anyway. Even the guys are cosplaying her. <laughs> it's hard to believe that anyone takes Mystica seriously. Somehow I can't imagine a real magical girl modelling for photos. Stop your lies, you fool. What about Sailor Venus? Yeah, this, this is Sailor V, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's... You're lucky. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sailor Moon's absolutely wonderful. They just wish they'd never dubbed it. I'm just going to leave it there. I always watch the subs. Yes, always a good idea. I mean, the main team is terrible. <laughs> I can't blame her for making a living, though. With such a beautiful, with such beautiful silver hair and a pretty face, it's only natural to take advantage of them. And the hair and face, I should imagine. <laughs> and if everyone else... And, and if everyone thought she was really a magical girl protecting the city... Well, that would be a major boost to her career, wouldn't it? <sighs> Sorry, sigh. <laughs> the the things people will do for attention these days. <laughs> Still, I suppose it makes people happy to envision someone out there fighting for their sakes, and it harms harms no one to, in pretending to be that someone. The clock on the wall informs me that time's almost up, so I immediately polish off the rest of my lunch, and then I eat it. <laughs> now that school is out, I leave to meet up with my friend Alex. We plan to hang out at the arcade after school today. <laughs> go on, one of you guys. Go ahead, Laura. No, on you go. You've not said much for a while. Okay. Excuse me, are you <laughs> really? I'm, you I'm at April Simon, Stealer of Lines. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, go ahead, Simon. I got I got bored listening to you two argue. <laughs> That's me, and you are. My name's Sophia. I'm the cute girl of the classes. <laughs> and I'm a journalist for Crystal Stream News. I'd like to talk to you a bit for a bit. The Crystal Stream News? That's our school newspaper. You are one of the big three, and I have a few questions for you regarding them. The big three? I can only think of the big two, but Claire's not in the room. <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I ought to hear her out. Could you turn around, please, and show me your out? Oh my god! Mm, okay. This isn't a good place to talk. Would you mind coming with me? Could you carry this rock and tie this rope around your neck? Not really. <laughs> now I'm even more curious about what up, what's up. What up? What up? <laughs> Is there really such a need for discretion? All right, Sophia, what do you want to know? So then, what is your relationship with the other members of the Big Three? Other members? I'm sorry, but I don't really know anything about this Big Three. Didn't even know I was a member until just now. Can you tell me a little about it? You're kidding, right? You're one of the Big Three, and you've never heard of them? I grin sheepishly and shrug my shoulders negatively. Nope. Want to fill me in on it? Sigh. <laughs> You're supposed to be the one giving me information. This is wrong. <laughs> the big three are of major achievers at Crystal Stream Collegiate Institute. Claire, Rena, and you. Claire and Rena? Oh, you mean because they're popular and attractive and the top of the honor roll? But wait, Ellipsis. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're not Ellipsis. <laughs> so, why am I in this group? I'm not any of those things. True. But you're probably only a member of my association. Jeez. She doesn't mince words, does she? I try to force a smile. Go on, smile, smile, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> my grades don't really matter that much to me, but I still manage a solid B average. I've got a B average. <laughs> uh, that part doesn't bother me, but I don't like being thought of as a groupie. Claire and Rena are highly attractive. Are highly active, actually. <laughs> Don't mind me. Claire and Rena are highly active in extracurricular activities, whereas you are not. Nor are you considered that attractive by most female oh, students. Sorry. Holy I take that back. Sophia doesn't mince words. She minces people with words. Ellipsis. Hee <laughs> hee. Ellipsis. <laughs> I can't hold back a laugh. <laughs> For some reason, this situation is so bad, a, a laugh ran away. That's actually pretty funny. Is there more? Sorry, wrong voice. Is there more to this than I know? 
<laughs> no, not really. But you said you had some questions for me, so you might as well ask them now. I have work to do today, so I'll make this quick. What can you tell me about Rena and Claire? I haven't heard too much about them, aside from being members of the Big Three. Well, I've been friends with them for ages now, but I don't think I should talk to them about them behind their backs. I don't really want to write something bad about them. Ryu, we don't do smear pieces. As the official school newspaper, we have strict guidelines on what we can publish. Only smut. <laughs> Really? I guess I should read it more often, or indeed at all. I am only asking for a few leads on something, and I can promise you strict confidentiality. I won't quote you in any way, or reveal your identity. Leads? On what? I can't tell you, let's. So, you want me to spill the beans on my two closest friends, and you won't even tell me your angle? She? Why are you even interested in them? It's for... Ellipsis. Something very important. <laughs> right. Because that's so convincing. <sighs> Need another character. Fine. <laughs> I suppose it can't be helped. It's my own picking fault, I know. <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret. <laughs> and in return, you'll answer a couple of questions about Claire and Rena. A secret? What kind of secret? I'm secretly a man. <laughs> Have you heard of the Wings of Light? You mean that urban legend? The Wings of Light are a notorious group of heartthrobs who can supposedly charm any girl they like. In other words, they're total players. Rumour has it they've each dated over 30 girls in just nine months. I don't know if any of this is true, but I really despise guys like that. Yeah, yeah. You know. Toying with a girl's affection for fun is just unforgiv unforgivable, I tell you. <laughs> there is no telling how much heartache they've caused. While the rumours don't have all the facts straight, the, the wings of light do exist. You'd think that everyone they dumped would hate them, right? But they actually are on very friendly terms with nearly all the girls they dated. Mm -hmm. Except me. They haven't dated me yet the best. <laughs> In fact, some of them have even formed a fan club. Uh. A fan club? Right. Sophia ignores the skepticism and dripping from my comments and moves along. At the end of last year, the group disbanded when a tragedy struck. One of the members disappeared after that. But... I managed to track him down. I'll give you one guess which school he goes to now. Don't tell me he goes to Crystal Stream. You've got it. I'm willing to expose his identity. And guess what, guys? 20 minutes no! has passed. <laughs> yes. You need to know what's going to happen. Well, you're going to have to watch the next episode, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, April, you'll need to be like, right, don't I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gents, the two people who haven't been saying that much this episode are my very good friends, Laura and April. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. I'll try to give you some lines next time. I really didn't realize this was going to be so long. <laughs> no, it's That's okay. <laughs> we haven't even... No. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't made a, a choice yet. I think this is no. going to be our first one. Yes. Possible. And we're going to do it next time. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. And we'll do this again next week. Sure. Yay. All right. Thank you. And good, good night. night. Good night. Thank you.